Hey everyone, this is Ben, and welcome to a new series on this channel I'm calling Album of the Week, where every week I pick one album I think is interesting or worth talking about in some way, and I talk about it for a few minutes. For the first episode, we're going to be covering Jaden Smith's 2017 debut, Sire. Sire is really interesting to me because it's way more compelling than it has any right being. Just based on his cultural position and his Twitter account and his parents, uh, everything about Jaden Smith and his image and persona, all the odds were stacked against him and he probably should have ended up making some really generic, boring rap music. But Sire is the exact opposite of generic and boring. For one, the beats are incredible, like really, really good. Most of the beats are produced by Swedish EDM giant Lido, as well as a few contributions from Jaden's friends and Misfits label mates, and all of them sound great. The forays into trap are hard as hell, rhythmically interesting, and feature wonderfully wonky melodies that imbue these aggressive tracks like Batman, Rapper, and The Passion with a degree of idiosyncratic beauty. These songs are definitely bangers, but they're not just bangers. They have a little bit of a unique quality that sets them apart from most of what's going on um, in modern trap rap and the SoundCloud subgenre that Jaden seems to be working in. There's also a series of gorgeous R&B songs with fantastic, head noddable drum grooves and lush, warm, soulful synths. Seriously, the R&B songs on this album are some of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard in my entire life. Uh, Fallen, 90 come to mind, both beautifully produced, sleek R&B songs. Um, definitely worth checking out. There's even a couple of sort of weird detours into dewy-eyed folk music, stadium rock, and ambient music. But thanks to the strong mixing and mastering job, it all sounds similarly warm and inviting, creating a degree of sonic cohesion despite the stylistic restlessness. So, on all fronts, the instrumentals are pretty stellar, but that's only half of what makes Sire so interesting. He might be getting carried a little bit by the production, but Jaden's offerings here are pretty standout as well. After listening to Sire, it's pretty clear that Jaden Smith, against all odds, has formed into a surprisingly competent rapper, singer, and lyricist. His bars on the more traditional rap songs are pretty good for the most part. Um, they often run a little amateurish and occasionally end up sounding like one of his tweets, but his punchlines and rhymes are more than acceptable for the most part. But the one area of his rapping where I have absolutely zero concessions to make is his flow. On every song here, he nimbly navigates a series of dexterous meters, not once missing a step. The wonky rhythms of Icon, the traditional trap rap bounce of Rapper, the warm, smooth, glossy R&B rhythm of 90, all of them are met with Jaden's wonderful flows. And his singing is pretty good too. Um, I'd say his biggest asset in this department is definitely the smooth sound of his voice. He's a little bit pitchy from time to time and his range is pretty limited, but his voice is so nice to listen to, uh, almost charismatic in a way, that it's really hard not to enjoy. And his lyricism is nothing short of exemplary. All of the songs on Sire are well-developed vignettes of their given topics, thanks to Jaden's vivid lyrics. The dude seriously has a knack for imagery and storytelling. Um, I'd say check out Lost Boy and Sire if you need evidence of that. So great beats, a compelling protagonist. All I've done so far is say that the album is, for the most part, well done. But what makes it special and worth talking about, in my opinion? On the surface, the album is attempting to tell a complex story of a man named Sire, as Jaden says, the boy who chased the sunset until it chased him. This narrative is shallow, choppy, underdeveloped, and leaves a lot to be desired. And it's weird, it's kind of at the halfway point, he just abandons it, seemingly, until the last song. But go a layer deeper, and the album contains a much more interesting meta-narrative of Jaden Smith, the lost boy, attempting to navigate the lofty emotional turmoil of his privileged lifestyle in the upper, upper echelon of the uber rich and famous. This narrative is nuanced and well-developed, albeit a little bit airheaded and self-centered. The album, over 70 minutes of self-absorption, paints a realized portrait of Jaden's uncertain place in the world. He flexes on his ex, whose breaking of his heart he sees as paramount to murder, he drives his car too fast through Hollywood like a hooliganish youth, he experiences genuine sadness and feels truly lost as his jet-setting lifestyle collapses into crying himself to sleep on friends' couches. He expresses tender love, bitter hate, and everything in between. Now, keep in mind, there's absolutely zero self-awareness to be found here, but this arguably makes the album more interesting, since the version of Jaden we're getting here is 100% unfiltered, raw, and genuine, even to a fault. He's certainly not trying to make himself look pretty. So what sets Sire apart, and makes the unique experience in my opinion, is the way it serves as a well-realized portrayal and window into the mind of the deeply compelling, often shifting character of Jaden Smith. 
through a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of luck, and a stunning lack of self-awareness, Sire manages to be, in my personal opinion, a great piece of art. All right, so that's going to do it for this first episode of Album of the Week. Let me know what you think of this series down in the comments below. Um, the idea of this is that I want to be getting more content out on a more consistent basis because uh, episodes of the Criticism Files and longer, more heavily edited essays take weeks to make. Um, and so I want to be getting one piece of content out a week. I feel like that's a feasible goal for these more just a few minutes of me talking with some light B-roll. Um, so let me know what you think and feel free to request some albums down in the comments below. Um, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.